And the last time we saw Michael Coffey again, he is a former Marine. He's 34 years old. Let's get back to Lennox Lewis and Joe Goosen. I know Lennox, I, I'm watching Michael Coffey, and I never would have thought this was a guy who picked up boxing in his 20s. What did you think of his boxing ability, given that he started so late? I think it's good. You know, the fact that he's sparring with these different people, you know, you gain a lot of experience. You must gain something being in a top guy's camps. So. Uh, the fact that he's coming out as a switch hitter, he's developed his own style. Uh, it's an unusual style for a heavyweight, but it's a, but it's a good, it's a good look for a heavyweight boxing to see a switch hitter in there. Joe, what about you? Well, look, I mean, God, we we raved about him the last time we saw him. He kind of surprised us. He he knocked out Pena, the undefeated uh, guy, and uh, was really really good. Look, I mean, these are big guys. Uh, both of them six uh, over 250 pounds, pretty amazing. And uh, look, Joey uh, Abel is a tough guy himself. He's got 33 knockouts as well in 35 wins. So you know, there's this this has all the earmarks of a knockout coming. <laughs> hmm. You see right there the tail of the tape, but there is Michael Coffey out of the Bronx again, eight years in the Marines. And take a look again. You, yeah, don't go anywhere. Michael Coffey, five right. of his seven knockouts within two rounds. And uh, 24 of the 33 knockouts for Joey Abel within two. Abel's been in with some of the, the best fighters in the world. But uh, Coffey is the guy that we're watching. Uh, let's get to Heidi Andrell right now. Uh, Heidi, again, he's a very interesting guy. There's a lot of facets to his life. Please give us a few more. Most definitely. You know, he didn't turn pro until just three years ago. Didn't really have the amateur career. But he did get on the job training as a sparring partner for guys like Adam Kovnatsky and Deontay Wilder. He's brought in some unorthodox training this camp. And in fact, he was in the pool playing water polo, even drug the heavy bag into the backyard pool to do some training Said he's coming in lighter and leaner in this one. And that will be key against Joey Abel. Now, Joey Abel is a fighter out of Minnesota, and he is actually a behavioral health tech at the hospital back there in Minnesota when he's not in the ring. He said, he, I'm just an average Joe, no pun intended. Uh, but his opponents that he's faced up to date, nothing average about them. He's even gotten in the ring with Tyson Fury on one week's notice back in 2014. He said that experience is going to be a key for him here tonight. Brian. Yeah, Heidi, he's been in. Again, average Joe doesn't fight. Tyson Fury, Chris Ariola, Freza Kendo, by the way, Tomas Adamic. Now, he lost all of those fights, as you can see right there, but he has faced the very best in the world, including the heavyweight champion of the world, and that's Tyson Fury. Uh, we'll be up against it. He's in the opponent mode here, going up against Michael Coffey, and we'll see exactly what Coffey has as he looks to gain some experience. 10-0, seven of his 10 wins coming by knockout. We got a good look at him. Uh, few months ago and uh, see coffee right there big mobile fluid needs experience but uh, he's exciting to watch at six foot five let's go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right fans from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles premier boxing champions continues the action introducing to you at this time our three judges scoring from ringside we have Eddie Hernandez senior Fernando Villarreal and Zachary Young all right, fans, here we go. Heavy weights in the ring. We are scheduled eight rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks with white lettering, hailing from Coon Rapids, Minnesota. He weighed in at 250 and three quarter pounds. His record stands at 35 wins, 10 losses with 33. Big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the battle tested, battle ready veteran Southpaw, known as Minnesota Ice, introducing Joey Abel. And his opponent across the ring, finding out of the blue corner in this eight round attraction, wearing black trunks with silver trim. He is fighting out of Orlando, Florida by way of Brooklyn, New York. He weighed in at 267 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 10 wins, no losses. Seven of his wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the undefeated former U.S. Marine introducing Michael P.A.N. Coffey. And our third man to the ring now to give instructions, Rudy Barragan. Thanks, sir. Chief Seconds Fighters, come on in. Belts are good, guys, okay? Do me a favor, protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Good luck to you both, okay? Here we go. 
Michael Coffey, eight years in the Marines, served several tours in Afghanistan. Uh, that experience, of Are course, uh, giving here? him a very different worldview, discipline, mm -hmm. and drive. Again, he's 34, got a late start in boxing, but making the most of his chance. And he is, again, Joe Goosen, big, mobile, fluid. And I just liked the way he boxed. It was exciting, and I was surprised to see him so balanced and so poised. We're on, underway now, round number one. And here we go. Joe, your thoughts on coffee as he gets started? Yeah, look, he surprised us in the last fight. You know, he was very versatile in the ring and very fluid. He went from right-handed to the left-handed very easily. He made the switch, which he'll probably do tonight because he's fighting a southpaw in Joey Bell right now. But again, he's got to be cautious, and he's capable of doing many things in the ring for a guy like that move right there. That was a beautiful little pivot. It's just, just the start of the things he can do. So I expect to see a lot of good things out of Coffee because it looks like he trained very hard for this fight. He knows he's got short time to go a long way. Yeah, he says he'd be up around 300 pounds if he wasn't boxing. He comes in here at just over 267 pounds. But Lennox, you can imagine, he he started boxing, and two months later, he entered the Golden Gloves in New York City. So he picked up very, very quickly. Yeah, I mean, the fact that he, he picked it up uh, after that, you know, some people are natural, and I, I look at him as a natural heavyweight and a good heavyweight. The fact that he's coming out and he's throwing good sharp punches this is what you, you like to see from the heavyweights sharp punches good combinations and good ring generalship even the way he sprung in there he, he's able to get the range and is able to hit abel with a lead hook abel experienced enough to to get back but it, it, it grazed him so you see coffee establishing distance and with good vision as he gets a good look here in round number one i got a, I got a question for joe yeah who is the last Sparm partner that became heavyweight champion. Jimmy Ellis? <laughs> Lennon? Jimmy Ellis? Is that him? Well, I, I don't know. You're, you're, you're well, Larry Holmes was a That's sparring right. partner, too, right? That's yeah. right. Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes okay. for Ali. Well, I thought you had the answer. You're supposed to have the no, answer when you ask me a question. It was a question. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Uh. I, I thought it was being <laughs> like Mr. T. No, I'm you're, you're, supp you're supposed to answer the question when somebody asks you, ask you a question. As Mr. T would say, if I'd known I was going to be tested, I would have studied. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, look, I, you know, we may both be right. I don't know. But you're right. Larry Holmes was all these uh, sparring partners. Chief sparring partner and yeah. later became heavyweight champion of the world. Right. Probably. And yep. do you think he learned anything from Muhammad Ali? Yes. Well, of course. Now, in the meantime here, we, you know, we got an eight-round fight, not a ten-round fight. And, you know, I, I think Coffee's taking his time a little bit to figure out the southpaw and Joey Abel right now. Because it is a lot easier to work against a right-hander if you're a right-hander. And uh, let, let's see if he, because right now he's, it looks like he's studying him and see what happens the next round because we're almost out of the first round here. And Abel, again, with the experience, able to stay out of some of the danger and make coffee think. And not be Ten able seconds, to just guys. Ten seconds. rush him or over, overwhelm him with his uh, physicality mm -hmm. and skill. So final seconds. Round number one, Coffee and Abel. American, eight years in the Marines. He's not a former Marine, he's a Marine. Served several tours in Afghanistan. And again, brings that uh, wealth of experience coming out of the Bronx, coming out of a broken home. Uh, came up through the foster care system as well, found a, a good family. Joined the Marines and then picked up boxing late. And here he is uh, having a, a nice opening to his professional career. 10-0, seven of his wins by knockout, and facing the very experienced Joey Abel in the black trunks. Round number two, scheduled for eight. Abel is throwing some good punches in there. Abel now with the pressure on and unloads. Nice combination. Coffee up against the ropes. It's what might get a, 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 a Bell in trouble, to tell you the truth. And this is kind of what Coffee wants is a guy that's not backing up. Oh, shoot, that hurt him. Oh, good oh. body shot by Coffee, and down goes Abel. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's not going to get up. No. Ten. He's That's done. it. That's it. Abel was oh, looking at his hand. He's trying hey, to Doc. tell the referee on, something. Go, 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 but either go, go, go. way, this fight is over. A one-shot, body-shot knockout for Michael Coffey. Well, he might have hurt himself as well in the exchange. I don't know. But it, it's really what Coffey wanted was for Abel to get him get close so he could throw some shots. But let's see. It may have been a combination. But there's something wrong with his right arm or right hand. Like he pulled 
it out of, oh, his muscle. Yeah, he may have torn his bicep. Yeah, that happens. I've seen that happen in the gym a few times. You you throw a shot, you you run into an immovable object, and it, it tears from the inside of the arm. Let's see. He, he was uh, unable to move that arm at all, was telling the referee immediately, maybe we'll get a better look here, but well, that is a, a body shot. shot. That's yeah. a wicked shot, and but then it, hit him with but, an uppercut. But it looked like he was grimacing before he got hit with that shot. Yeah, yes, he was. He was grimacing, and he was almost in the in a, a bad position see, when no, he was see, his arm was hanging down already something happened before he got hit if we could if you're we right, roll fellas. that nope. back joe yeah. you're absolutely right yeah. that was a good a good replay as well you can see that arm was hanging limp yeah. on its side uh -huh. coffee meet to his credit yeah. you know coffee is there to take advantage sure. of that and he did yeah so michael coffee gets the knockout but something happened there with joey abel where uh, he hurt his arm maybe you're right could be a torn bicep it's, or something yeah, along looks, those lines let me tell you it, you, can, you can kind of see his right arm just doesn't look as muscular as his left right now i don't know if that's because of the rip muscle that happens but we'll see let's see yeah and they're holding his arm very gingerly here we go so let's see what he does with his right hand so he throw oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah, it twisted in an awkward position. And remember, he's running into a guy that's, what, 270 pounds? Yeah. You know? And that Listen. right arm just hung there, yeah. and he was he was a sitting duck. Although right. Coffee pounced on him, to his credit, pounced on him immediately. Yeah, and, and it took him out. It, it, yeah, it's no, a, you know what I wanted to say? What's that, Larry? Sometimes when you come into a fight, you got to warm up. Most of these guys that are coming in, they, they're not warmed up as much as they should be because, you know, where they're big heavyweights, and uh, you need to warm up a long time. Yeah. I remember when Muhammad Ali used to warm up before his fights. He used to shadow box for an hour. So well, that could be some of that. That, that could be that could be true. Or it, it could be something that he injured earlier before, and it just it really went on him. Or it's just an awkward punch that caught the, uh, Coffee the wrong way. So Michael Coffey had a knockout win back here in August 8th. Uh, beating the previously unbeaten Luis Pena, and here Joey Abel, after a, a decent first round, uh, goes down with a big body shot and an uppercut. Michael Coffey remains unbeaten. In the ring against very game Joey Abel, who was bringing it before all of this. And then there was a backstory on that. I see Michael Coffey even looking puzzled as he put Abel down. And we'll get a little more information on this right now. Pointing to the arm. And we're going to go to Heidi Andrel in a moment, and she's been speaking to the corner exactly that injury. Uh, still looking ahead, though, December 5th, we're back with you. Fox pay-per-view, the welterweight championship of the world. Number one at 147, Errol Spence Jr., the welterweight champ, takes on the former junior welterweight champion of the world, Danny Garcia. December 5th, you can see it on Fox pay-per-view. Michael Coffey gets a knockout win, but there was a little bit more to it. Let's go to Heidi Andrel now. Heidi? Thank you very much, Brian. Well, I did speak to Ron Lake in the corner here of Joey Abel, and he told me that it was a torn bicep. I asked if this was a pre-existing injury. He said no. Unfortunately, it just popped. All right, Heidi, thank you so much. Well, and you see it here. And, yeah. you know, Lennox and Joe, it, yeah. it, it, you know, Abel was really just starting to bring it to coffee before that happened. Yeah, he was. Um, he was uh, throwing some great punches, and it seemed like he was trying to set coffee up on the ropes because some of the punches that he threw were really straight and they were, they were the right punches that he threw. Yeah, he was charging at that moment and then suddenly that right arm after throwing that punch uh, just went limp. He was hanging on his side and to Michael Coffey's credit, he ended that shot and ended that fight uh, just before the fight would have ended anyway because uh, Joe Goosen, there's no way Abel would have continued. He would have said to the referee, look, I got one arm, I'm done. Coffey took care of business right away. The reason I was kind of on that whole thing because I've seen that injury it's happened in my gym at least three times in the past few years uh, it, it, it's it's something see that he threw an awkward punch if you look at the replay it was kind of an open handed not he just didn't have his arm his fist turned well and it landed awkwardly on that huge massive body of Michael Coffey and it just uh, the resistance watch you'll see it's not the perfect type of right hook it'll lay land out see how it's kind of flat right there mm and you can see right there boom he went right into the pain mode dropped the arm and they got hit with that liver shot right there and then a right uppercut coming right there so to add insult to injury as they would say he took two good shots after that injury well there we go it's over but it's a knockout win for michael coffee let's get the uh, official yeah. word from jimmy lennon uh -huh. 
Well, fans, we have the time of 49 seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, Rudy Barragan, stops the contest as the fighter suffers an injury to his right arm. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Michael P.A.N. Coffey. P.A.N. punishing all negativity. And a lot of positive things here for Michael Coffey as he gets to 11 and 0. Eight wins by knockout. You see the, <laughs> the copy box, not a lot of work here. Oh, a five and eight landed. Uh, felt like a few more, but it was a slow round number one. It uh, was. Either way, look, and it was shaping up to be what we thought would be a decent fight as we get back into some of the highlights here. Uh, Lennox, let me ask you first, yeah. what do you think of Coffey? Given that, you know, well, let's, let's deal with Coffee, who did get the win here. What do you think of the way he performed tonight? Uh, you know, we didn't really see too much of Coffee in, this, in one sense. Down! What we did see was Coffee taking advantage of what he seen, you know. He threw the punches he needed to throw. He recognized the openings. And he really didn't get going. So we didn't really see as much as we wanted to. So I could say I didn't get enough Coffee. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Kind of an incomplete. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to have that framed. <laughs> you know, okay. You know, Joe, the, the, yeah. his job, though, is to get by a guy who is 35 and 10, who has fought the heavyweight champion of the world, right? Yeah. He took care yeah. of business. That's right. 35, 35 and 10 with 33 knockouts. He, he, he beat a good guy, and I, I think we would have seen a great great outing by Michael Coffey tonight had that not injury had that injury not occurred either way yeah, he's now. the winner yep. yep no question knockout winner Heidi Andrews with him right now ringside Heidi thank you very much Brian well Michael I know that uh it's, you never want to see an opponent get injured and you certainly wanted to put on a show here tonight take us through what you saw along the ropes there well, you seemed almost a little puzzled before yeah, finishing um, him so I know he went it, it, I think he went to throw a body shot and uh, I went behind like a shield, I, I, and I curled. I coiled, I mean. And I know he hit my guard. I could see the way he threw it. He didn't like turn it all the way. So he, it almost looked like he hyperextended it. Yeah. And so I, then I just threw the body shot. I, I went to go uh, throw another body shot. He went down. And yeah, I was a little puzzled because I was like, you know, that the, the one shot couldn't have been couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you never know. Hey, you you know, never know. Well, you know? certainly unfortunate, but I know that you had a lot of work went into this training camp. You yes, didn't necessarily get to show it all. But what, uh, you were along the ropes. That's another thing that you said. You wanted yes. to stay away from the ropes. Yes. What else did you have on tap for us? What You said you had a dozen things you'd worked on. What did you yeah, want to show us? Um, like, really, I wanted to show uh, better head movement and just more, and just more uh, movement in general also you know setting traps and so like you know in that moment right there when i was against the ropes once it was because you know in the beginning i saw that he was lunging a lot with that lead uh hook and then he was coming right behind it with that left hand so i, I tried to sit there and wait for him to lunge so that i can get under it and try to throw an uppercut but you know that's exactly what joe Goosen was saying he said he, you were kind of baiting him in well before yeah. i let you go i think you'll like this comment yes lennox lewis said he thinks you're a natural and then he said tonight i didn't have enough coffee <laughs> 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 what do you like you gotta like that right Michael? yeah but you know what if he uh he didn't have enough coffee but if he want that sugar rush I got a can of pineapples in the back. <laughs> yeah, I, know you, I know you got your pineapple in the back. <laughs> if you need, if you need to forward, pick me up, I got him. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you back in this ring very soon. Yes, thank you.